Hello, everyone, and welcome to Consciousness is Sexy. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, and today our topic is the misidentification of sex and copulation. I like to rhyme things sometimes. Maybe you've noticed. <laughs> so this topic uh, came about, I'm, I'm actually facilitating a couple of different groups at the moment. And in one of the groups, one of the participants asked, um, she was, she's having trouble having sex, copulating with her partner. And she was asking, why am I not allowing myself to receive in this way? And it brought up a whole bunch of stuff in the group. And then I became aware that there is a, a misidentification with a lot of the different energies that are involved when we say and use the word sex. So I'm going to briefly tell you what the elements of sex are according to the magnificent tools of access consciousness. So the elements of sex are sensuality, sex, copulation, sexuality, sexualness, and orgasm. Now, for the purposes of today's show, we're just going to look at and play with the two energies of sex and copulation. Now, the easy one is copulation. What is that exactly? Copulation is when you put your body parts together. Whatever body parts you desire to put together with another body that is the act of copulation, the act of copulating. Now, the thing is that in this reality, we galump all of these different energies into one thing, right? And it's really important, especially when it comes to copulation and receiving and sex and sexualness, that you are familiar with what these energies actually are so that you don't stick yourself with certain things. So when we're talking about in this reality, usually people say sex, they, what they really mean is putting their body parts together with someone else. So, when, so that is copulation. That's all it is, putting body parts together, whether it's penis, vagina, lips, pe you know, anus, whatever body parts you want to do. That is copulation. Now, sex is a completely different energy. Sex is when there is a gifting and receiving and an exchange of energy between bodies and between beings. It'd be nice to have some sex with your copulation, <laughs> but that always isn't, that isn't always there. So for example, with sex, let's say you're, you're out and about and you are wearing like your favorite outfit and you're feeling really good. Like the other day I went out to an album release party and I had this dress on that I just love. I love this dress. It turns my body on to wear it. It turns my body on to look at it. It turns my body on just to even think about what I'm, that I'm going to be wearing it. And I love wearing it with these like hot pink high heels that I have. And I just feel so good when I'm wearing that dress and I'm walking around. And and when I'm feeling that good and I'm standing tall and I'm like, yeah, I'm digging it, right? Ever, there's like no barriers and no walls. And there's an exchange of energy that is possible when someone is admiring me and my body in that dress. So the energy of sex, the energy of admiration between bodies and beings, that's the energy, that's, that's really what we're talking about when we use the word sex. Now, again, I'm going to reiterate, in this reality, these things have all been galumped together. So all of these different energies have been put together into this one word that we call sex. Um, and when I, w I went out, I'm going to continue with my story. So I went out to this album release party and I'm wearing my awesome, amazing dress and I'm super excited. I'm happy to be out and dressed up and wearing makeup and all that. And, and I walk into this club where the album release party was happening and I didn't even have to look at the guy, but I could feel him admiring my body, right? I could perceive and receive that energy. And then when I looked at him, I admired his body 
back equally because he was really good looking. <laughs> and so there was an exchange of energy between us. In that moment, we hadn't even talked. We were having the energy of sex, that energy of attraction, that energy of like, wow, you look amazing. Wow. That is an energy that is available. You can have that energy with people from the same sex. Like when I go to my pole dancing classes and I watch other women move and dance with sensuality and with presence, I am receiving from their bodies and I am gifting to their body. Because of course I'm like, hooting and hollering like, yes, you're so magnificent. You're so beautiful. You know, so there is a gifting and a receiving of energy. Um, so in that moment with those women in my classes, I am having the energy of sex with them. Now let's talk about receiving energy because what happens when we go lump these things together and we galump copulation with sex, which is actually receiving of energy, right? Having sex and not having sex is kind of like a lower vibration, a lower harmonic of how this reality defines the higher harmonic of receiving. Gosh, I hope that made sense to you guys. <laughs> um, so, receiving is actually the ability to perceive and receive all energies with no point of view. So when I am having sex with the women in my pole dancing classes, sex meaning receiving energy, when I am receiving energy and exchanging energy with the women, then that is actually a generative energy that is a contribution to all of our bodies. There is no judgment in that energy. I'm not like, oh my God, I can't look at them because they're women and I actually am a heterosexual woman. And, you know, that's how, that's, that's sexuality. That's how we define and judge what we are willing and not willing to receive. But if I lower my barriers and I, and I allow the exchange of energy without judgment and without a point of view, then that is receiving. Now, that doesn't mean that I have to put my body parts together with them. That doesn't mean that if I didn't put my body parts together with them, that I didn't receive from them. Like the guy that I met at the album release party, he was really good looking. So I gave him my number. I was like, oh, you're, you know, and, and the music was fantastic and whatever. And I just gave him my number. Like, why not? I'm a single young girl in Los Angeles. <laughs> Why not? I gave him my number. But does that mean that we actually have to go out and that we actually eventually have to copulate? No. We've already gifted and received from each other's bodies. And what if he doesn't call or I never see him again? Am I going to discount that moment of sex, sex, gifting and receiving that we had together? I hope not. No. Why would I do that? then I'm cutting off my receiving because you didn't call or because we didn't copulate. Are you seeing how these energies are all different? They, like, imagine if you had copulation, putting your body parts together with a person and a body that was totally present with you, that was totally gifting and receiving with you, that was totally lusting after you and your body. Would that make the copulation more fun and interesting. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're having copulation with someone who's not present with their body, who's probably somewhere up here outside of their body, who's not, who's not paying attention to the nuances of your body and the sensations in your body and the sensuality in your body, who's not paying attention to any of that, who's doing more of like a sort of Neanderthal slam bam, thank you ma'am kind of thing, I mean, that may be enjoyable sometimes. I don't have a judgment on that. Sometimes that kind of energy is fun, but it's usually a sort of pushing kind of energy, not a gifting and receiving of energy. Does anyone have any questions so far? I've said a lot 
in the last few minutes. And what I wanted to do um, for, for to I wanted to actually, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I wanted to give you some tips on how to have a lot more sex with your copulation. <laughs> and if everything that I've said so far makes sense, then that made sense to you too. If it didn't, you may need to listen to this video a couple of times because this is actually a very, 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 very different way of looking at sex, copulation, um, and receiving very different from the way that it is usually handled in this reality, as are most of the tools with access consciousness. They're just different. They're a different way of being in the world. And what I have found for me personally in what I like to say, unglumping the elements of sex, right? Really getting clear on the energy of copulation, really getting clear on the energy of sexualness, really getting clear on the energy of sensuality, the energy of orgasm. When I am really clear on what all of those different energies are, it actually opens me up to receiving more. For example, with and I, I kind of alluded to it before, but with the energy, with sexuality, which is how most people refer to sexual, it is how most people refer to their sexual being. They refer to it in their sexuality. But that sexuality, which is I'm a heterosexual woman, or I'm a heterosexual man, or I'm a homosexual man, or, or uh, I mean, nowadays they also have like gender neutral. There's all these different labels that we're putting on our capacity to receive energy and, and gifting and receiving from anyone. So, awesome. Maria says, interesting, interesting. Stephanie says, how does it get any better? And then she says, I'll have some of that, please. Yay, I'll have some of that too. Um, so, okay, here's a couple of tips to invite more of the energy of sex into your copulation. Number one, breathe. Breathe. When you are copulating, when you are getting ready for copulation, when you are like in the makeout phase, or if you're in the um, uh, heavy petting phase, or in the fellatio and cunnilingus phase, whatever phase of putting your body parts together that you are in, please remember to breathe. Get it, the breath will help you get present with your body. My dog is doing things over there. <laughs> um, and as you get more and more and more excited, right? That's sort of the tendency. That's kind of, you get more and more excited. You want to go fast. You want to go fast. You want to go fast. You want to get to the orgasm. You want to get to that thing. Forget it. Forget the orgasm. Forget that elusive result that you're looking for during copulation. Breathe deeply slow down. Ask your partner to slow down. In this reality, it is mostly men who have the permission to really embody sexual energy um, unapologetically sometimes. That's a whole other different topic, another show. But, but men are usually more willing to have that sexual energy running through their body. And it, it sort of sometimes like leads them and then they're like leading with their penis. So then they get really excited and then they're all like sexual energy, sexual, blah, 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 you know. So just invite them and yourself to just slow down to be present with that energy without having to go somewhere with it, allowing that energy to course through your entire body. The breath is gonna help you with that. Being present with your body is gonna help you with that. Where are you with your body 
in that moment? Are you right here, you know, in an expanded state, present, or are you somewhere over there? And if you're somewhere over there, then make sure you call yourself to right here <laughs> with the other body so that you can invite the energy of admiration, the energy of the energies of gifting and receiving with the other body so that you can be present with everything that is happening in that very moment right then and there. Expanding your energy out, breathing, gifting, and receiving. Those are my tips for having more sex with your copulation. <laughs> Do you have any questions before we sign off for the day? If you are watching this sometime in the future and you would like to join me live um, and you can ask your questions, you can register at consciousness.sexy for any future shows that I have going on. I also currently have a, um, a club, one of, the, one of the places where this conversation sort of began. It's called the Body Love Club. So if you'd like some information about that, you can go to my website or shoot me a message in social media. I don't see any questions at the moment. Thank you all so much for being here. It's a quickie on the different energies that are involved in what we glump together as sex in this reality. And I have a sense that we may, we may play with the other energies in some of the other shows. So keep an eye out. Don't keep an eye out. Stay tuned. How about that? Don't keep an eye out. You got to watch the words that you use. Stay tuned um, for future shows as we continue to explore these elements um, with our bodies, as we continue to open to the consciousness and the awareness that is available to you when you explore and expand everything that you be and that you know. I adore you all so much. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Have a beautiful day and go forth and have lots of sex with everything in the universe. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Bye. <laughs>